The Wheat Ridge family lost loved ones to a drunk driver in 2015, and then, over the weekend, they lost their livelihood to another suspected drunk driver. Denver 7's Lance Hernandez, the only reporter to speak with these barbershop owners, and Lance, this has to open all those old wounds again. It certainly does, and now they're wondering how long it's going to take to recover from this latest tragedy. Early Sunday morning, a car came roaring down Ward Road there, ripped through this earthen filled barrier, then continued on through the parking lot, ripping through that fence and catching fire. The flames spreading to Monica and Felicia's hair stop. Oh, it just breaks my heart. These Arvada Fire Department photos show the blaze. This video shows the aftermath. Police suspect the crash was alcohol related. It hits home for me because as you know, my daughter was killed by a drunk driver. Felicia Gallegos' daughter, Chelsea, her niece, Samantha, and nephew, Sean, were killed in 2015 when a drunk driver traveling close to 100 miles an hour careened off Highway 285 near South Turkey Creek Road. Back in here is our shampoo bowl area. This area left in a shambles after fire crews cut through the ceiling to extinguish flames in the attic. I'm, I'm kind of sad. I'm looking at what used to be our... Our waiting area. This is where customers enjoyed coffee or popcorn. The kids had little chairs to sit in and books to read. This man, Jason Lujan, was arrested shortly after Sunday's crash. He's been charged with DUI and second-degree assault on a police officer. I asked Monica Lopez if she had something she'd like to say to Lujan. I would tell him definitely that he, he needs to do a lot of um, thinking before he actually gets behind the wheel. And shortly after Felicia got the bad news about her barbershop, she got some good news about the birth of a new grandson. So, yes, there is beauty out of ashes, and that's what I can truly say. The shop owners may have to depend on family members to help them get past this latest catastrophe. Now, they hope the landlord can make quick repairs here. If not, they have a family member who has a shop where they may be able to walk. They tell me they also have another family member in the restoration business. In Wheat Ridge, Lance Hernandez, Denver 7. Um, we just got to go back there and support him, Lance. Thanks so much.